This spike is a little shocking. It's really raging here. Everybody's scared. Everybody's coming down with it. It's almost like a plague. I had both shots of the vaccine and people just acted like, oh, it doesn't help. It bothers me sometimes that people just act like COVID is a big joke. I always want to say, well, why don't you just come right up here to the cemetery and I'll show you my husband's grave and I can show you it's no joke. Over the five days we spent in Carter County, Missouri, it felt like COVID was closing in around us. The positivity rate kept climbing and is now 32%. Some people we wanted to interview told us they'd just been exposed or were too sick to talk. This is a chicken pepper. Hold that in your hand. We first came to Van Buren in October 2020 when COVID was starting to surge in rural America. When we heard that one of the diners we'd interviewed people in had closed for COVID, we wanted to come back and see what had changed. By the end of this spring, many thought COVID was over, but in the past few weeks, it's raged through town. The vaccination rate is very low, with only 27% fully vaccinated. The overwhelming majority of our patients that are admitted to the hospital with clinically severe COVID are unvaccinated. Uh, I didn't realize how unvaccinated we were. Um, I guess that's uh, my fault. I didn't continue to push as hard as I should have to get people vaccinated because I thought everybody was because the virus and the disease was abating, uh, but I was wrong. It came back uh, like a brush fire. Are you vaccinated? No, but I will be. I was pretty skeptical of it until I've kind of watched all this happen. Jim's wife, Ruth, fought cancer for 12 years, but COVID killed her in eight days. He says the doctor told her not to take the vaccine because of her chemo. When did your wife die? July the 20th. I talked to her up till Sunday before she died. And she said, this is bad. She said, you just all need a shot. And I think she's right. Last time we came here, the debate was over masks, and it had gotten very political. We sit in the coffee shop and watch people walk in the door. We look at a mask and we all look at each other and we go, Democrat. Later that fall, there was a COVID surge in the area. But the health center says this wave is much worse. In Van Buren, after just two days of school this August, about 20 kids tested positive. Five days later, almost a quarter of students were under quarantine. The preschool had to close for two weeks. Come get your food, Tyler. People in town were gossiping about who had it and where they got it. And they'd all seen our last story. The last story you did? Mm -hmm. Well. I kind of thought it was all bullshit myself. Oh, tell me more, tell me why. That ain't the way people are here. I think people here try to take care of each other. Those boys sitting in the coffee shop don't know what they're talking about when they're talking about COVID. They need to walk through the COVID ward. That's in your mind. But Jim admits some people are pretty set in their views. Good friend of mine, he hasn't had the shot, but everywhere he goes, if he goes in any place, he wears a mask. And he's probably one of the best guys I know, but uh, you're not gonna change anything about him. <laughs> You, maybe you already interviewed him. Would he talk to him? Yeah, but you probably wouldn't like what he tell you. That's okay. That's <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get my phone. Hello? Hey, I'm surrounded. I need you to come down here. I'm serious. Who are you surrounded by? Well, a bunch of women. Okay, I'll be right there. All right. Hey, they're going to interview you. Oh, no, they ain't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Can I sit down there and buy you? Why do you not want the vaccine? I ain't taking that shit. I ain't taking it. I don't like people trying to push a shot on me or something else because I'm the best bullheaded this fellow you ever seen. Last fall, COVID put Wayland in the hospital for seven days. I was on everything they had. Uh, steroids, full drip, plasma from uh, people that had COVID. Drug that they give my president Trump. And they, run, and they finally burn it out of me. What's the difference, though, between the vaccine and the drugs that you did take, like the Regeneron? Well, yeah. I would have took anything. It wouldn't have mattered what it was. But why Why would you trust the Regeneron and not the vaccine? Am I going to have to tell her? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, they eat. Well, the one thing is... They shafted my president. They would have had the vaccine, already had it, already had it, but they wouldn't give it to him because they knew damn good and well he'd be reelected. They got nothing nobody could do.
So they had to swindle around and skin around and keep it from him just as soon as the election was over. Here, we got it. You shafted my, me out uh, my president. I ain't taking your medicine. <laughs> not from you. I'll take what to give him, but I'm not taking yours. <laughs> he took the vaccine, though. Well, well he, he might have. I don't know that. I think they give him the regen. They did give him that, but he did take the vaccine. Like their own, probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he didn't. I don't know that. But that's what pissed me off, and I ain't taking it because I'm that bullheaded. There's no evidence for Whalen's theory, but he wasn't alone in his skepticism. Have you thought about getting the vaccine? Mm -hmm. No way. Oh, really? How come? Because I don't want to get sick. And you think the vaccine would make you more sick? Eh, probably. It made my mom sick. Okay. You mean when she got the... Well, she got the vaccine in February. And she got sick on Monday with COVID? Yep. Maybe COVID. Um, is she gonna get tested? Probably not. She's just staying home. Oh, okay. How and I'm bringing her groceries and yeah. doing whatever I can away from her. Yeah. <laughs> One of her friends tested positive, and she had been with him, so more than likely. I'm really behind right now because I was down for about a week and a half being sick, and I don't care. I got it. I told everybody, hey, I had COVID. Hey, don't. If you don't want to get around me, don't get around me. I do have it. So did you have the vaccine? No. Why not? There's not enough research on it. I'm not totally against the shot. I mean, if I have to take it and it's gonna help me in the future and not hurt me, yeah, I might take it. Are you vaccinated? I am not. And why not? I just uh, I haven't got vaccinated. Okay. Uh, had a, a lot of people around me's had it. I just haven't, never got vaccinated. Around here, we're pretty country folk and it's kind of hard to get people to do something they don't understand completely or they don't don't feel the need to. But are you in that category? Well, I guess. Now I'll really get deep with you. I believe if the good Lord wants me right now, it doesn't matter if I take a vaccine or I don't. And I know I know a lot of people would say, well, he also gave you common sense and he ought, he ought to go get the shot. But yeah. that's just, uh, you know, that's just the way I look at things. I don't want to ever give anybody an excuse for doing something like not getting vaccinated, but the reasons uh, do hearken to someone who has, you know, been told that they're a dumb hillbilly all their life by the rest of the country, and that is not, that's not an excuse, but it's part of the reason. I don't know that we're oppressed or disenfranchised, and I don't know if we deserve to even feel that way here, but we are a flyover state in a social situation where peer pressure is, is so hard. We've had a lot of trouble to try to get people vaccinated. To break out of that peer group is very hard for people. Has anyone wanted to get vaccinated in secret? Well, um, yeah, absolutely. Like, tell um, me what they say. When they're in my office and they say, I don't want to get vaccinated and this is why, and it's usually, uh, at the very best, a specious reason or a fallacious reason, we have set up things where we can sneak one in your arm wherever you need to do it, because that's our goal. It's hard, but it's not impossible. The health center said more people in Van Buren got the vaccine after two local kids in their 20s were hospitalized with COVID earlier this summer. Last year, we talked to Brian, who was pretty cavalier about COVID. I guess if I get it and it kills me, then it's slow walking and sad singing for the family. What would you put on your tombstone? Didn't wear a mask. It took some convincing, but he agreed to talk to us again and tell us what's happened since. And no one feels like they can trust our government. It's not my fault no one's, no one's wearing their mask. And it's not my fault no one's taking the vaccine. It's the government's fault. If you get the vaccine, Please, Brian. <laughs> Did you get the vaccine? It doesn't matter whether I got the vaccine or not, whether I did or didn't. Corona doesn't care whether you're a, whether you, who you are. I know. Whether you think you're a big tough guy or whether you're uh, anything, it doesn't matter. If you get it, it can kill you and destroy you. I don't want my wife to have to wonder when they 
put you in a medical induced coma and hook a tube, stick a tube down your throat, is he going to come back out of there? That's why I got a vaccine. Ellie Reed, CNN, Van Buren, Missouri.